Is that where we want to go? Mission, yeah, Cheyenne system. Right. Let's go, boys and girls. Let's go. I'm up for a little adventure. Right. Who have we got? Grandma, Hello, huh? Stranger. I just finished cooking up some food. If you want to come hey, on Grandma. Over, just pop on by. <laughs> hey, Grandma. Nice to see you still out here. Right. I, I'd love to, but we're actually busy at the minute. Sorry, I don't want to be rude. Scanner anomaly, yep. There's our temple. Ready for touchdown. Is something up its uh, yes. Right, judging by the outside camera on the ship, we're going I don't know, well we're going uh, to the right of the ship but whether that is actually east who knows let's get off and go find out hello hey Vasco come on Barrett I think this is where we're going yeah gravitational anomalies if you want a survey while we're on the way by all means scan away mercury Ooh. Oh, it's a damn sight heavier here than it was at the last place. And silver and mercury and lead. Oh, interesting. Quite a few uh, next. Expensive materials here. Yes. None of that matters at the minute, though. We're getting the powers we need to fight the Starborn. Oh, well. Why am I... Ah, uh, I know why I'm overweight. I bought ship parts, didn't I? I bet I put them in my inventory, Lost didn't I? in my thoughts, but glad to be back. Yeah, let's trade gear, my friend. Happy to help. Let's see what I've got here. Alright, let's have a look. I think I... Did I pick up the ship parts? No, I didn't. So what am I overloaded with? Ah, uh, that star Roma space suit. And oh, two lawgivers. Yeah, you keep hold of those. We'll sell them later. Suppressed calibrated lawgiver. That's pretty nifty, isn't it? What's that like compared to the one I'm using? Hmm, pretty much the same, but suppressed. You can have that too. All right. Let's go. Hey, be careful out there. I will. Come on. Besides, you know I'll be careful because if I'm not, you're going to mither me and tell me off. That's what friends do. Did I scan that? I think I scanned that. All right. Also, like I said, you scan too, will you? Oh, look, we're near an anomaly. Well, let's go scan that while we're on the way to the temple. There we go. This planet has gravitational anomalies. And we have, what, a rock pile. Some decent materials in. I hope that just hasn't overloaded me. No, we're good. 
Didn't I see some fluorine around here somewhere? There. See, the thing is, Barrett, if I get enough money to upgrade the cannon so it's not a glass cannon, it's an actual steel cannon, it'll lose some of its charm. The fact that we can actually get killed pretty easily is uh, keeps, on us, keeps us on our edge, doesn't it? You know, if it just becomes an absolute tank of a machine, it might, it might not be as fun anymore. But from the other angle... We're going up against the hunter, so maybe it's a good idea to be able to take him on. Okay. We're nearly there. What temple is this? See if our scanner picks up us any uh, name readings anywhere. Temple Fee? Fi? Fo Fum? Okay. I don't want to smell the blood of this Englishman. Okay. Got to be a way in here somewhere. This one looks a bit battered. Are you uh, acquiring this power as well, Barrett? Or are you uh, that curious about that other one that you're not um, committing yet to any others until you feel a bit better equipped alright oh, is that yeah that's one of the doors so one of the entrances to this one was blocked off a bit alright be careful because we've got a proper drop here at virtually full earth full earth G come on Barrett Right, you know how this works? Fly into the shiny, sparkly things. Do, 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 do. I think. Where is the next one? Behind me. <laughs> Ironic. There we go. No gravity at all in here. There we go! Hey! Are you, um, Barrett? What do you think? Are you gonna have a go? I want to hear one of my stories? Or do you have one to tell me? Yeah, the story about me activating another power ring thing. Anyway, how are you feeling about our friendship with all this going on? It's been one of the best things that's happened to me in a long time. Good. So the power's not gone to your head. Yeah. We're on the same page, my friend. You bet. Anytime you want to talk about us, know that I'm here for you just as you've been there for me. Good. What, do you want a bit of this? Yeah, no? Maybe? Are you still too scared about the idea of three Barrett's turning up? Come on. Yeah, come on, you can do it. Woohoo! Time's 
like this when it feels like we've really pushed the boundaries of humanity, you know? A test. Whoa! Please, another test. And now for an encore presentation. Uh, you wonder what humanity would be like if we could all do <laughs> that. Oh! Don't like your minigun thing. Hey, you have one. Oh, sorry, Barrett. Hey, guys. Oh! Was... I hope... I hope they didn't die from these spinny things. How are you doing? You alright? Oh, good. Story time. Love it. Ha, ha, ha. Yes, I'm sorry I shot you in the, the crossfire, okay? Right. Fun chat as always, friend. You're just making me feel guilty now. Whoa! Careful! Alright, what we just need now is uh, I figure out how the hell to get back to the ship because of this dust storm. Glass cannon. Kilometer that way. Let's go. All right, what's landing? Something's landing, but can't. Where is it? I can't see it. Probably starborn. Don't ma just get back to the ship, Barrett. We can do it. We can get back to the ship. Doesn't matter if they, if I can't see them, they can't see me very easily either. Let's just get back to the ship. Hey Vasco, Barrett's coming. Captain Tom, greetings. Greetings. Let him catch up. I used a bit of amp. Alright, where are we up to? Right, boys and girls, to Earth. Lift off complete. Let's go. On. We are quite literally going home, but not where we live, where we came from. Apogee complete. We're in orbit. Good. Uh, who's... Is that Grandma still? Yeah. Okay, let's get to Earth before Starborn shows up chasing me and Grandma ends up in the crossfire. Galactic Star Yard. There's a research station on the moon. That's where Emissary Sarah sent us. He says, Let's go see what it is she was trying to show us. Barrett, I will continue to bring you with me for this. Landing site's clear. All green here. Go. Hello, Captain. Hello, Vasco. All right. Did I really not scan the moon? Really not. Seriously. I've been here before, haven't I? No, I've not. I never landed here. I went to Jemison's moon, I think. Wow. 
And I've been to the Earth twice. Never to the moon. Strange. Wow. Look at the Earth. About looking at the moon from the Earth all those years ago. Right. Is there anybody here? We got any uh, visitors we need to clear out before we can find what we were sent here to This find. relay station has to be at least a hundred years old. Stunning. You pretty much, yeah. It is old tech, all right. Not surprised though. We would find old tech here. It's got to be the first place we came to, isn't it? You know. And I know we came, humans that is, we came here as explorers as way back as the 20th century, but when we started getting really good at exploring space, we must have been, you know, must have come here first. Alright, is there any other ways in or anything else I need to look at? Right, there's a door there. Nothing in there. Yeah, I think we're going in here, Barrett. Let's just check the roof. Check for anything else. Scanners. Play recording. Interesting. There's that little sad dot. Yeah. That's alright. <sighs> Doesn't appear to anybody here be here. Doesn't appear to be anybody here. So I think we'll be going in here in a second, but this appears to have a recording. Ancient spin up time almost complete. Total time 5 minutes 22 seconds. Right on schedule. How are the helium 3 valves holding, Nova? We double checked the leakage concerns this morning before the launch. All uh. sounds green. Any changes to the calculation sequence from Voltaire? No changes since we uploaded the last figures yesterday. It's a clean shot from here to Jupiter. One <laughs> day the computer will be on board the spaceship. Just imagine that. One miracle of science at a time, Canaveral. Counting down in five, four, three, two, one. Canaveral, are you breathing? All clear, Nova. Indicators look good. The ship should be cruising Jupiter's orbit right now. Visual confirmation <laughs> will be possible in... <laughs> 32 minutes. Afraid the speed of light is on the slow side these days. <laughs> How does it feel to break the laws of physics, Canaveral? We're all pretty excited down here in NASA, I won't lie. Excited enough to tell me where you got the original data? Not in a million years. No. Huh. Interest. Go to NASA. Is that what we came here to? Interesting. Still, I'm having a toot inside this place. Let's go and let ourselves in and have another look around. Come on, Barrett. If you're not part of the solution, you're part of the precipitate. Okay. He's catching up. Anything else in here? What? Is 
zero wire. <laughs> notepads, notepads, folders. Wow, med pack. I wonder how many decades old that thing is. Mm. Stuff to sell. More zero wire. Uh, well, go on, I'll take it. It's not that heavy. You're carrying a lot. Do you want to take a moment to shuffle things around? Yep, I will do in a second. Moonbase Slate 3. Well, there really is something else. A supercomputer so powerful, they put it on the damn moon to keep it cool. Huh. Although by that logic, they should be running it purely in the vacuum of space. But hey, good marketing material. Uh, I've been spending some off hours running some dumb simulations, just because I can. My favorite so far is simulating the sound of every duck on Earth quacking after receiving a piece of bread. You didn't Quack. know you wanted a real-time sim of feeding all the ducks, but now you have it. <laughs> You're welcome, humanity. Quack, 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 quack. What'd you think? Yeah. Quack. So to do the rest of this investigation quacking. Okay, so I found three first. And because I can't be bothered turning them off, I've heard it the wrong way around. Nova Galactic Project Log, Principal Engineer Lang Shu. Voltaire's being reconfigured for this new initiative. So the some kind of computer. Out to crunches. Ambitious, even for a supercomputer. We might as well be asking it to count every grain of sand in every desert on Earth. Who came up with Looks these like original Everybody equations. evacuated fast. Our partner isn't being mm. very open about it. Every question I have goes through some discretionary channel. I'm surprised we even know we're working on a ship. <laughs> okay. Why do I suspect one of the Starborn came back and jumped our technology forward and was a bit naughty with the knowledge they gained? All right, we've got one and three, so there must be a number two slate. Chicken chunks. Moon base slate two. There we go. I'm just about. I'm just going to eat some of these hundred year old things because they're preserved that much. I can. I'm not sure what that says about what we should be eating, but. Eh. Nova Galactic Project Log, Principal Engineer Lang Shu. I admit, this is not the most disciplined team I've ever run. Malcolm mm. keeps stealing computational time on Voltaire, and thinks I don't know this. And Sabina's <laughs> been distracted lately, but won't tell anyone why. I really should demand answers from both of them. But honestly, I'm too preoccupied with this contract. We all are. Despite anything going on in our personal lives, there's something special about what we're building here. Yes. Which was a rocket or a ship that allowed you to jump to Jupiter and what? Set up on one of the moons there. Probably Europa or something like that. So you, technology was jumped forward, was it? Healed. Oh. Ugh, plooping in zero G virtually. Imagine what that's like. I hope they've got extra gravity on this place. Let me just double check. No, they haven't. But then again, when they were here, they might have had it turned on. Because there's only like 0.17 G holding the water in that bowl. So you imagine something goes plop and the water goes wee everywhere. I can imagine it was a bit of a delicate way to plop. Being able to eat anything I want because the vacuum of space won't let it rot is quite amusing. Slate 5. Okay, there's a slate 5. You ever Stop. Right. Let's read these in order once I've found... Oh, sorry. Once I've found them all. So we need a four. We need slate 
far. So Ellie contacted me about the case. Oh, right. I just wanted to do some trading, but yeah, go on. I mean, now's as good a time as any. We've got air to breathe. <sighs> Tell me. It went well. Same. I was beginning to get worried since we hadn't heard from her. But that's interstellar communication for you. Mm -hmm. Anyway, <sighs> we have a verdict. Irvin's Go on. record will be expunged on account of his death occurring before the trial ended. It's a technical victory, but we'll take it. We can't change the system that made this happen. But I'm glad we tried. Hmm. How are you feeling about this? Relieved. This was always in the back of my mind. Always there when I fell asleep and when I woke up. And I would mask it as much as I could. Hide the sorrow with my wit. Hide the anxiety with my charm. The yeah. will always be there. But it's something I feel I can move past now. Good. What's next for Ellie? Well, she's going to keep up the fight. Gagarin is full of cases, just like Irvin's. If you can believe it. Oh, I can believe it. Well... Hmm, if you need my, I don't think there is anything else to find. I'm being a bit pessimistic there, but send my congrats and gratitude to Ali then. Already did, of course. And a third of the settlement. Just made sense considering how much she did for us. And speaking of the settlement, I divided it into equal portions for me, you, Ellie, and expenses. Here's your share. And I sold the apartment. So here's huh. the bonus from that after taxes. I gave my portion to Ellie so she could fund other cases. So there wow. it is. <laughs> I guess it's over. <sighs> and how are you feeling about it being over? We knew we couldn't fix the whole system. I'm just glad we could do what we did. Yeah, true. I wish we could have helped more people ruined by her faces. But that isn't our fight. Could be, but it isn't, yeah. Do you have any clue what happened to Helgi? Did he get a chance to move his life forward properly? Ellie tried to convince the judge to dismiss Helgi's conviction from years ago as well. But the judge didn't think that was warranted. Helgi was having a rough time. We tried, but he didn't make it easy. Yeah. Also, well, so I gave Helgi a bit of money. Enough to leave Gagarin if he wanted, just in case. I'm pretty sure he had enough money. He was just drinking it. And let me guess, Hephaestus can still do their business because we didn't manage to do anything to them. Until somebody changes the laws there, this will be just a bump in the road for them. Yeah. Elia's going to keep digging into them, and now that she's seen this tactic, she may be able to find a pattern. Problem is, if she finds a pattern and manages to do enough to shut them down, they'll probably just have a load of people in charge of the place, pull the money out, start a new company, and carry on the pattern there. But anyway, case closed, detective. I hope it was worth it. There it is. I guess I needed to actually hear someone say it. Case closed. Whew. Finally. Yeah. It's not lost on me that you've encouraged me to pursue this investigation from the beginning, you know. I appreciate your support more than you can imagine. Thanks, <laughs> Captain. Yeah, no problem, my friend. And we made a good team as a detective, and we still make a good team as Constellation members. I'm glad you haven't changed your mind on working with others after all this. <laughs> a long time ago, you talked about valuing teamwork. You really meant it. Yeah. Don't tell the others. But I was having a hard time focusing because of all this trial stuff. So thank you for helping with that. Yeah, don't worry. Your secret's safe. As close as we've gotten, I believe that. Usually Vasco's the only one I trust. Granted, <laughs> he's programmed not to blab. With you, no special protocols required. But yep. honestly, I appreciate having someone else to chat with. Well, 
besides the millions of other Barretts out there. <laughs> but having yourself as your main conversation partner? Well, that's a little narcissistic, don't you think? Well, you've seen me talking to myself. Yeah, the other Barretts. Can you talk to him again, or uh, can you not summon the same ones? I can't seem to summon myself for conversations anymore. Trust me, I've tried. Ah, uh, that's a shame. So they just turn up and fight like mine. I wonder if it was because it was the first power you acquired that you got that extra bit of juice out of it the first time. Hmm. Can he, Can the other Barrett do anything useful then? I'm assuming they're just here to fight like mine. We can't clearly communicate, and I'm not even sure what he's aware of. So I think he's just going to follow my lead. Seems to work so far. Yep. Ah, well. Hope you don't summon an evil version of yourself. Ah, he's the evil version, aren't you, mate? Ha! Well, it's always good to have another Barrett around. Well, just remember which one of us is sticking around until later, and we'll be okay. Yeah. Anyway, I'm just glad we got everything settled with Irvin's case. It was just one loose end in a universe full of them. But I'm glad it's tied. Good. Good. <sighs> hmm. Oh! Let's read the, uh... Let's say read. Let's listen to the other tapes. Easier to do it in here before we go outside into the air. Which there isn't any, so that's the point. Where did I put it? Notes. Moon base slate four. Did we read Which order did we pick them up in? Oh for the love of Fine, let's quickly do them all again. No, we've done one, haven't we? Nova. We've done that one. Nova Galactic Project Log, Principal Engineer Lang Shu. I admit, this is not the most disciplined team I've ever run. Done that one. Stealing. Coltier really is something else. A yep, super... we've done that one. Okay, confession time. Yeah, Being come on. Being single on a moon base is the worst. I only get like an hour to use the communication link to Earth every couple of days. And let me tell you, there's... Long distance dating, and then there's like long distance dating, you know? <laughs> oh, hey there. I'm a scientist, deadly employed, willing to take you out for coffee in like six months when I'm back from space. <laughs> it's not a great opening line. <sighs> you seriously can't uh... get a date? You're an astronaut. Hey, no one asked you. <laughs> Oh dear. You ever get jealous? You know, the crew in the shipyard? Building the actual vessels that are going to travel the stars? We're literally on a base on the moon. Yep. Oh, come on, Sabina. I'm trying to share my dreams here. Well, your dreams are always out there and never here where the rest of us live. Can't you just be happy doing your job? Where's the fun in that? Hmm. Okay, and... When sit. I accepted the assignment up here, we were told to bring a couple of personal items. Some psychological study said it helped when you're away from Earth this long. I brought my grandmother's old abacus. I would play with it on her lap, and she'd teach me the Russian for all the numbers. She, uh... just... got word that she passed. The next shuttle isn't for three months, so I'll, uh... I won't be able to go to the funeral. Huh. Goodbye, Babushka. Thank you for teaching me math. It brought me to the moon. And you're probably long dead as well. Yeah, it's a shame. She missed her grandmother's funeral but her grandmother knew where she was but not the craziness of it all Barrett three months for them to go back to earth it's there we can see it in the sky 
and we can go across the universe in a matter of hours or days. <laughs> and that's what, four generations, five generations since she was around? And only five or six generations before her, people were still using horses and walking everywhere. Do not underestimate what we can do.